question. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, you announced at the 2017 uh, show that you decided on 2018 after seeing how good 2017 is, but since we had to book before 2016 for 2017, haven't we almost predisposed what 2018 is going to be? Oh, yes, yes, yes. That, yeah, I mean, sure, we, we will have to make some decisions about 2018 before we have sailed uh, on 2017, but, you know, the way these things happen, the way these things work, we will have a pretty good idea of whether uh, 2017 is looking like a, uh, a huge success, which we uh, think it will be, or a, uh, a uh, less than huge success, less than huge success, which we don't think it will be. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, technically we will, have, we will have made a decision on 2018 before we actually sail on 2017, but uh, I think we'll be well enough informed to, to know. And that's actually been happening for years. I mean, yeah, no, we always three or four years we've known the cruise six, like yeah, six, six or seven months. Yeah, cruise by ourselves or, uh, or oh, in, in terms of a group or a, or a, or a <laughs> ship charter. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I think um, I don't know. I mean, I, I I think that the if we did, you know, doing doing 2017 as a full ship. And then the idea of going back to a group, I can't imagine. I mean, I'm so excited about the full ship thing. Every time I look around, I'm like, oh, that room would be our ours. That would be ours. That would be ours. That would be ours. That would be ours. We could change that. We could change this. It's just a really thrilling thing. Uh, and I think that once we've, once we've all adjusted to that and once we've experienced it, I think the idea of going back to a group will be a kind of quaint, charming idea. Uh, and not something that we're we're that interested in. Not that there won't be aspects that we'll miss about being. I, obviously, you know, it's easier to run when there's only 400 or 600 or 800 of you. Uh, and there's aspects that you know, as we discussed in the 2017 thing, that won't, we won't have anymore as far as the intimacy and it won't feel you know, that the everybody in one place kind of thing that we have here. Uh, and so it was it was a really a multi-year not argument because it's not like there were sides fighting for one or the other, but it was you know we considered it. Repeatedly over over the years, and not, it, it took a lot of convincing for all of us. It was not just a we need more money, let's get more people in a bigger boat. It was, and it, it just it grew to the point where it just seemed to finally make sense. I have a, I have a question for you guys. We we've been we've been uh, talking amongst ourselves and noticing. We've all noticed that the size of this year's group. I mean, it's grown bigger every year, but for us, the size of this year's group seems to have crossed some sort of a threshold where it feels like, holy shit, we're super big all of a sudden. Yeah. Are you guys, from your perspective, are you feeling that as well, or does it have the same, does it have the same feeling as prior years? How many feel like it's, it's, there's a, oh my god, it's much bigger? And how many people think, no, it's kind of the same vibe as before? All right, so, yeah. sort of down the even. But yeah, some, some people definitely feeling that. I mean, I think that's part of it too, is the, um, you know, we basically reached the size, at least on board this, uh, configuration of ship where we can't we can't really get much bigger without uh, uh, running into the limits of, of uh, the resources that we have on the ship. So, um, and even moving to a larger ship, there's a larger class with uh, Royal Caribbean, for example. But just going to a bigger ship doesn't solve the majority of those problems. 